Hello everyone, Max Story back with you today for more Change Happens. Today you're on chapter 11, which is Leading Change. And again, it's kind of where I left off last time. You see, especially if you're reading the book and you can kind of see it, maybe fill it in the videos a little bit, uh, how the book progresses forward. And last time I ended up with Leading with Change was kind of what I was talking about. I mean, excuse me, Leading Change. And then today... Chapter 11 is leading change, so we can continue on forward. And I've got an opening quote in my chapter from uh, Henry Link. And Henry says, While one person hesitates because he feels inferior, another person is making mistakes and becoming superior. And what he's talking about, we can't be insecure. Maybe we don't know the answer, but we know we need to change. In my background, leading process improvement, I was always leading change. And again, most of the time, there was nothing wrong with the process we were working on. It was fine. They've been using it for years, like people say. They've always done it that way. But the point was, we were being proactive. So I was always brought in to help teams proactively change. So I was leading the change. But there was really no reason to change in their mind. So I had to motivate and inspire them to say, yeah, everything's working great. Everything's running great. There's no reason to change except we want to be better. So I had to be a kind of leader that motivated and inspired the team members to begin leading the change. I was brought in to lead it, but I didn't really want to lead it. I wanted the team to lead it. So I had to get them to start giving ideas, get them open and receptive to telling me and sharing with me all the things they already knew needed to change. But again, most people are resistant to change, although most people have tons and tons of ideas on how to change things and make it better. That's again why bringing in this material, leading your team through this type of content, getting them thinking in an environment where they can slow down and actually think about the future and then have a leader who wants them to share ideas, who embraces their ideas, who's going to help them implement their ideas. Because see, if you can get people to buy into eliminating frustrations, they'll be happy to lead change. Everyone in your organization wants to eliminate frustrations. 